everybody, it's Jada with KidBadger.com and today we're going to be talking about the next part in our Coast to Coast adventure. After the Price Utah Range Day, we were driving to Colorado and it was raining and raining and then snowing and snowing and snowing and then raining and raining and, and raining and it's snowing and raining and snowing and raining and then when we got there, instead of getting a hotel, of course, to save a little money, we stayed in the Walmart parking lot, which turned out to be 50-50, 50-50. We got dinner, um, we opened one of the packages that our grandma sent, and she sent us a pack of fake mustaches. And I put a bunch on, we, we took some funny pictures, and then um, we had to go in one more time. So I had unibrow, mustache, and little funny beard. And then we went in, and when we were walking, when, before we got into the stores, we were walking in, and um, this guy walked by, and then he was like, what the? And, like, loud, like, what the? But louder, and I thought that was kind of funny. And then, yeah, we got the stuff we needed, which I think was just some curtains for the bus, and then we went back, I didn't sleep too well because there's a lot of people driving their cars very loudly and a lot of lights. And that was annoying. But yeah, pretty decently fun. <laughs> Morning on the bus. We woke up in Grand Junction and met up with Hill People Gear. And then we went to a range and did some shooting with them. Um, we went to their store downtown and got some cool stuff, like some hats. And then we went back to the range and me and Noah, we went, he took us in a little four wheeler and we went up and he gave us a really cool tour. There was a bunch of fake animals. There's like an alligator, deer and some other stuff. There's a lion too, but I didn't see it. And it was really cool and then they had a really cool wrench. I went way far. M farther than I could probably hit the target from. And then we went back and he bought me some ice cream. So, and even though for some reason it was kind of cold out, but ice cream is ice cream. That evening we drove to Moab, Utah and went to Archer's National Park, which was, by the way, Dang, cool. look at that. Check that out. Now we are definitely stopping. <laughs> Can we maybe explore that later? Um, on our way back, there's a spot right there on that side of the road. That we can turn off and explore it? Uh-huh. and I almost got stuck up there because I got scared trying, wanting to climb down. And um, we did echoes and stuff. We climbed and walked around.
13, ready or not, here I come. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we went, um, before we went to our campsite, we stopped at a restaurant Dad used to work at when he rented a place there. He used to work there. And apparently he had the nickname Salad Master. I don't know if that's true, but I'll take his word for it. And then they had really, we ate some fish and chips, which were really good. Better than like any fish and chips they've ever had. And then we went to a campsite, parked their bus, and then me and dad walked three quarters of the world to get there and back, which was really only about like 15 minute walk there and back, but it seemed like an eternity. Just kidding, didn't seem very long. Um, and then, yeah, we slept that night better than most nights that we've been sleeping in the bus and yeah, had some fun. A lot of fun. That morning we, well, everyone else woke up and my brother your guy used a smell detector and dig around while I was still laying like middle of the, middle of the aisle in the bus. And then I woke up. Um, we went hiking around Slick Rock. It was really fun. And we saw some cool places and hid in some holes. After that, we started driving, and we passed this place called Hole in the Wall, and we kept driving, and I was like, Dad, I want to go there. Ah! Not really, I, I just kept asking him, and he let us go, it was free, and then I paid for us to go to a petting zoo. It, there's really cool, there's a big bull with like horns the size of my arms, and peacocks and some other stuff too. That was pretty cool though I was kind of disappointed because they said they had a zebra and there's no zebra. But we also saw an albino raccoon that was also really cool. Um, after that, it was really cool. We, we didn't see any really holes in the rock, though we did see some holes driving by that were far back and couldn't even go there, <laughs> which was quite a bummer. But yeah, it was really fun and I enjoyed it. Can I feed one? Yeah. Break that in half. Okay. Here you go, Joe. Come on, boy. Good boy. Our next stop later that day was Mesa Verde. It was really cool. We saw some cave dwellings. Not really caves, but they're just in like indents in the wall. So kind of a cave, but caves are usually smaller than giant like inside cliffs kind of and they and it was like around a block long and it was really cool and we checked it out we saw some of their we didn't get to go because covid and i was very disappointed it's cool to look at but i was very disappointed somehow we managed to take the bus through there and we were like the only big vehicle there besides trucks like just normal trucks. And then we ended up um, driving to this other point, like driving, yeah, just driving to this other spot. There was a bit, like two big bucks. The buck was like six, eight feet away from the bus. Like actually probably about six feet away from the bus, eight feet away from us. And then, uh, like the people in the bus, it was so big, and it still had that stuff on its antlers, like when it was growing, that I just learned then. And there's another one further back that was also big. And then, yeah, it was really fun. We went to this other part where we got to walk around and we jumped in the pits where they used to live. It was actually really cool and amazing how they did like really neat circles. And we like hopped in them. There's this one little like part where we just crawled through and it was all muddy. It's like, I don't think I can fit through there. <laughs> Thankfully I could or else I would have been stuck for a while. And yeah, really fun, really cool place. 
After that night sleeping and swimming in a hotel, we started driving again. We wanted to go Four Corners, and for some reason they didn't let us, even though there's people in there, which I'm kind of bummed about. Those like people were supposed to be in there, but I'm supposed to be in there. But um, I got a picture next to razor wire and regular barbed wire. I was like, and then the razor wire and barbed wire were behind me on the fence. It was actually kind of funny. And then that was also the first time I saw a razor wire. And then we kept driving into New Mexico and we saw something, we went to a really cool place and we w stopped at this place, um, Billy the Kid Museum, which was really cool. We learned some cool stuff. We got a postcard. I sent one to my non nonno, which is Italian for grandpa. And Ira sent, my brother sent one to our mom. And then after that, we kept driving and we stopped at Blue Hole. It was closed. They didn't stop us. We went swimming. It was really awesome. There's people there that like had a truck and all the scuba deer and they're scuba diving. They'd, they're like, and then it was actually kind of cold, but my brother's like, no, I don't want to jump in. And then like right after that, it's like, I want to get scuba deer and jump in there. It's like, you just had the chance to jump in there and you didn't, he jumped in once, but that that's still once. And then, yeah, we jumped in, swam. I, I did the biggest dive I've done, which was about this high from the water, I'm guessing, about this high, higher than I've ever, Probably a little bit higher, but yeah, it was the highest jump I've ever, dive I've ever done. Could have done it from like three, two feet higher, but I didn't want to. And yeah, and that was really fun. And yeah, pretty cool. Really cool place actually. And we saw a little kitty. Don't know whose it was, but it was very cute. The next day, we picked up our cameraman, HJ, who had went home t for his daughter's birthday and picked up another friend. And we s went to one of Noah's friend's house, houses, and he had kids. We swam and played with them. It was really fun. Um, we, and then we went back, camped in the bus again. And yeah, pretty fun. And next morning, um, we went to get a tire fixed because, fixed because it was about to go <laughs> and fling a bunch of tire stuff out and we didn't want that to happen. So we went and got that fixed and then drive, started driving again and went to the range and started getting stuff ready. That right there wraps up this episode of our Coast to Coast tour. And as always, thanks for joining us at kibadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.